So is Starkiller like gonna be a thing in canon or not? What's up everybody, Mesa Windy here. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more, please hit the like button and subscribe, as well as hit the bell icon so that you're among the first to see any new content going forward. So, is Starkiller happening? I'm asking you, because at this point, I honestly do not know. We've had several different opportunities to bring Starkiller back into canon. We heard rumors and then it was later confirmed that Dave Filoni had early plans to bring Galen Merrick Starkiller that we know him from The Force Unleashed and The Force Unleashed 2 into Star Wars Rebels, which would have been insane. And with the introduction of the Inquisitorious, the canon uh, enforcers of the Sith Lord Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader, it seemed like a, a natural way to introduce Galen Merrick through the lens of the canon timeline. There's several reasons as to why it hasn't come to fruition yet, and there's several reasons as to why it might not ever come into fruition. Uh, one of the reasons is relatively obvious. Uh, the original trilogy is getting increasingly, increasingly fleshed out. We're seeing more and more Inquisitors, we're seeing more and more uh, Dark Side users, and we're seeing more and more of Darth Vader's life, more importantly, uh, between the events of Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, which is, as we know, largely where Gal and Merrick operated. We have him being found and trained by Darth Vader shortly after the events of Revenge of the Sith, and then we time jump, and he's grown up significantly, and he is a very talented dark side force user and Vader's secret apprentice. One of the ways that can translate well into the Star Wars canon timeline is even though you don't have to make him the all-important secret apprentice of Darth Vader, secretly attempting to overthrow Emperor Palpatine, you can still make him a fairly prominent and talented Inquisitor, a former Jedi that, like most Jedi who eventually went on to become Inquisitors, were either found in the Jedi Temple or lost their master during the events of Order 66, uh, Gal and Merrick's story could be very different with, while also maintaining a lot of the spirit of the original games and story. I very much enjoy Gal and Merrick, or, or rather I should say Starkiller. Uh, the games were a lot of fun. The story, even though I kind of, even as a kid, always had an issue with the fact that Gal and Merrick seemed to be like the inspiration for the Rebel Alliance, I was like, okay, like this guy that I've never heard of in any of the movies and books, like, all of a sudden he's instrumental in creating the, the Rebel Alliance. Like, his family sigil or whatever created the Rebel Alliance or something like that. But, no, I, I've always liked Gal America, and I very much liked Sam Witwer as Gal America. I thought he did a really good job. Even as a kid, I thought he did a really good job. If they can find a way to make it work, I'm certainly not opposed to it. In fact, I would get insanely hyped if they ever confirmed that Gal America in some form or fashion was going to make an appearance in the official Star Wars timeline. Imagine we're doing something like, imagine we're playing like Jedi Survivor and all of a sudden this mysterious guy turns out to be like Gal and Merrick. You're like, huh? The problem that I run into significantly now is like, like I mentioned, where are you going to put him now? Like he would have to be significantly changed. I'm not worried about power level. I'm aware that like a lot of the spectacular overachieving powers that you see in the games do not translate to, like, the actual story. Like, a lot of this is gameplay. Like, I get it. Um, but you can still say he's an, he's an excellent Sith assassin. You can say that he's been trained by Darth Vader personally. Maybe he maybe Vader took a liking to him as, a, as an apprentice, and even though he is a member of the Inquisitorious, uh, he takes a special attention to Gal and Merrick because he's saying, like, hey, maybe he could turn into my actual successor one day and he could be a lot like, like he, he could be almost like a weird foil to somebody like luke skywalker kind of like how he is in the game the next question is does lucasfilm want or intend on doing it um we know how they handle most legend stuff a lot of it's kind of like sitting on a shelf until they decide that they want to use it um i personally don't think that this is something that They've been looking at this entire time. Maybe it's something that's brought up every now and then, but I wouldn't say that it's imminent. But every time I see Starkiller, I'm just like, you know, it's kind of wild how one of the most popular expanded universe characters in Star Wars hasn't been brought into the new canon, at least yet. 
Um, if you, if I had to guess, if he is canon one day, and I'm not working for Lucasfilm, so this is a complete guess. Um, I could see it maybe in the next few years as they start exploring other other parts of the original trilogy era. But that's the other dilemma that I have because I feel like we're finally, in a good way, starting to move away from what is known as the original trilogy era and that is very much so look i know that we can change the story of gal and merrick i know we can like move some stuff around i know you can change his backstory and stuff like that but as cool as it would be to see like a star killer story set in like the sequel trilogy or the high republic era it works best when it's set during the original trilogy and you don't have to make him as essential to the ultimate plot of star wars as he was in the first two games but he does belong there under vader's wing in some form or fashion star wars rebels would have been a really good avenue to introduce him just like they did with thrawn seems like star wars rebels started developing a knack for reintroducing legacy expanded universe characters they did it with thrawn and it was absolutely insane but there is an avenue for this for galen merrick um the only question is is Lucasfilm planning, willing, even thinking about doing it down the road? It doesn't have to be now. It might not even be in the future. But I, I just, I don't see at this point, like, where they would put him. It, it, I, th I feel like it would be a while. I've always struggled with not necessarily should he become canon because I'm not worried about, again, I'm not worried about the power scaling. It's a video game. I'm not worried about how he fights. I'm not worried about him beating Vader. There is no way in hell that the current regime and operating Lucasfilm would ever let Galen Merrick get the best of Vader. I'm more concerned now about how he's going to become canon. Um, it's less about the should, it's more about the how. I don't want to say a not if but when scenario because we frankly don't really know. And if he does become canon, like what becomes his new story? Because it's it clearly cannot be one for one exactly what we understand from the force unleashed and really from the force unleashed too, where the whole cloning thing came into it but i think characters like proxy uh, juno eclipse which is a very star wars name by the way i think these are all characters that can make a return you can honestly ham up a contentious relationship between gal and merrick and the other inquisitors there isn't necessarily a cap on how many inquisitors there are it seems like you can always add a few. And if you have plans for Starkiller outside of the original trilogy, you can always have him survive and write him out of the story and then have him pick up in the post-Return of the Jedi world uh, and then kind of give him that redemption arc not as the symbol of the rebellion, but maybe as one of the contributors of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple or or or, or one of the leading members of the New Republic's uh, efforts to make peace across the galaxy or just make him a nomad that does absolutely nothing and goes his own way, which is, fun fact, what I actually kind of wanted for Ben Solo. I'm not really sure what the future holds for Gal and Merrick. Uh, it seems like but they keep having Sam Witwer in their vicinity when they make these projects. And every time I see him in the vicinity voicing a character or showing up in the background or, or, or showing up to a lot of the cons or something like that, they keep him close. So I keep wondering, like, are they holding him on? Are they holding him on speed dial in the event that one day they just go, you know what? Let's do, let's do Gal and Merrick. Let's do star killer. Because to be clear, if they ever do a star killer slash Galen Merrick, it's going to be Sam Witwer. Even if they have to like age him down, even though the guy looks great for his age, there is no scenario where he will be played by anyone other than Sam Witwer. This is kind of like just an open wondering. I mean, I have no idea. Uh, I know how it could work. I know what they can do, but I don't know if Lucasfilm is as enthusiastic about it as other people, including myself, are. Um, and it'll be interesting to see in the coming years once we kind of like, you know, you know, we start focusing a little bit more on High Republic. Uh, I'm sure we'll still have some original trilogy stories. I'm sure the Inquisitors will still have moments in comics and novels. Um, I don't think that Galen Merrick is going to be somebody that gets introduced in a book. It's going to be a TV show, a video game, perhaps a comic, but I find that doubtful. And in case you guys don't know me, I'm not one of those guys that demands that every single expanded universe character returns to the new canon with all of their stories intact. I am only like that with a select few. 
And fun fact, Galen Merrick Starkiller is not one of them. He's not one of those guys that like I'm super gatekeepy about keeping his story intact completely from the video games. The only one that I'm actively like that more or less is the Darth Plagueis novel because so much of that novel fits so well into the greater timeline. The only difference being that like a few like references and stuff like that, but I could e- you could easily get somebody like James Luceno to tell that I- I'm I'm rambling I'm rambling. Start Dar- re- read Darth Plagueis, damn it. No, Star Killer is an excellent character. He's a very intriguing one. I think it would win over a lot of people who kind of want that, for the lack of a better term, edginess to Star Wars. I think Galen Merrick is a good compromise for that, and it'll kind of make the Inquisitorious a little more like interesting, for the lack of a better term. They seem a little stagnant right now, where it's kind of like. Oh, yeah, another one that dies. Uh, Here's another one that shows up. He's from here. Oh, he dies. Uh, Vader kills that one. They kill each other here. And, like, I'm okay with the Inquisitorious, and they are a challenge for a lot of Jedi on the run. But I feel like, you know, introducing somebody like Galen Merrick into the Inquisitorious, because that's, that's how I think I would want him to be introduced, you feel me? Be a really cool uh, development and change uh, going forward. And, you know, obviously you would have to tweak a lot about his backstory. I'm okay with that. I think you can keep some of the general spirit of who he is as a character and what his story is, set it towards the end of the Rebellion rather than him being the father of the Rebellion. Um, You can even kind of keep it as a situation where you can even keep his origin story the same if you really wanted to. You could have him be found on Kashyyyk. Uh, you kill his father who was a Jedi. Vader finds him and he decides to make him an Inquisitor and he grows up and he becomes like a little bit of a prodigy. Then it'll kind of divulge from the uh, old uh, expanded universe version of what we understand drastically in a lot of cases but like it's just like the Thrawn novels like a lot of Thrawn's origin story which was written by Timothy Zahn the general spirit of that origin story was kept the same so you can do it with Starkiller as well the only question now is whether Lucasfilm is interested in doing it and since none of us work for Lucasfilm to my knowledge the only way to find out is to wait And uh, keep clamoring for it, too, because, you know, eventually you never know. They might throw it in there, give us a throwaway. They made Revan Cannon. They made Rom Coda Cannon, who is a major character in both Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2, which honestly could be the first hint that maybe they're thinking about doing something with Galen Merrick. I don't know how much stock we put into that little, like, name written on the wall we don't even know if it's the same rom coda like you know there's nothing else we know other than the name that we saw but it remains to be seen me personally i would love to see gail and american canon but i know that you know powers that be may not have it so we will certainly find out sooner or later i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please leave in the comments if you would like to see galen merrick slash star killer and if not why thank you guys for watching please hit the like button and subscribe for more as well as hit the bell icon so that you're among the first to see any new content going forward this is mesa windu out enjoy the rest of your weekend and remember you agreed to stay away i lied okay